Guys, the weather where I am is a little gloomy today, and so with that in mind, I wanted to have a bit of fun and bring you guys another absolutely fantastic ad taking down Donald Trump, and deservedly so. And unsurprisingly, it's connected to all of the stories that have come out in the last few days, particularly about his company, his accounting, his property values, all of that. It's great front to back, but wait till the end because that's when it becomes amazing. A big blow for Trump tonight. His longtime accounting firm just retracted all of the annual financial statements it prepared for him from 2011 to 2020 and cut ties with him and the Trump organization. The accounting firm started by writing explicitly that all of the statements of financial condition it put together with Trump to evaluate his company's financial situation should, quote, no longer be relied upon. In a statement Tuesday, the 45th president said the Trump organization has more than $300 million in cash and $6.3 billion in assets. According to various reports, the former president is somewhere in the ballpark of hundreds of millions of dollars in debt. It was my experience that Mr. Trump inflated his total assets when it served his purposes. Uh-oh. Let's break that down a little bit. I think this is fantastic because it connects the Trump criminality with Trump's boastfulness and the quick realization among Trump and people in his inner circle, people close to him, that this is serious and he is in big, 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 big trouble right now. Donald Trump loves to lie about his evaluation. He loves to inflate it like Michael Cohen said, especially when it suits him. But as all of this is showing, despite the OAN piece, which is taking Trump at his word, everyone else is saying that his valuations are unreliable, they have been for 10 years, maybe even longer, that Donald Trump, rather than being worth billions and billions and billions, is actually hundreds of millions of dollars in debt, and may have debt that will outstrip his assets in the near future, and you see that realization at the end, that all of these lies are catching up to Donald Trump, and that's when that little uh-oh makes this good video into a fantastic one. And let's remember, because this wasn't even part of the ad, but I have to mention it. Donald Trump doesn't just lie to inflate his assets. He will lie in some cases to deflate them. David Pakman did a great breakdown of this yesterday, but what he said in his video and covering a Donald Trump press release is Trump, in response to all of this awful news aimed at him, said, oh, my properties are worth a ton. If anything, they're worth far more than what my official statements say, which is a stone cold admission that he is not being truthful about his property values and they are inaccurate. The things he's given to banks and or the taxpayer and any other institution is invalid. And if he knowingly did that, that is certainly fraud in a civil and maybe even criminal sense. This is a perfect one minute breakdown of Trump's criminality. Delicious.